How about some more Snyder Cut news? Uh, no, not the uh, April Fool's joke. Uh, yeah, didn't see that coming, huh? But uh, here's something that occurred in the Twitterverse. Every now and then something nice happens in the Twitterverse. So, uh, yes, the new Warner Media CEO, Jason Killer, <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's pronounced Killar, um, is an apparent Snyder Cut DC fan. Well... Oh, boy, is he in quite the position, huh? <laughs> so here's a little article from Cosmic Book News on the, the ordeal. I did see it, and uh, I shared the tweet uh, <clears throat> with, you know, someone else was doing the same thing. But we've got a guy here. Well, it, well let me read it. The new CEO of Water Meter, Jason Kalar, is an apparent Snyder Cut and DC fan, which spells good news for those who want Zack's Justice League version release. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, following the earlier announcement, fans took to Twitter to offer Jason Kalar congratulations and recommended the new CEO release the Snyder Cut. Fans were quick to point out that Kalar liked the tweet. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> Talk about a breadcrumb leading to <laughs> whether or not this will happen. So, uh, yeah, there was a, a fake, uh, you know, a April Fool's joke about HBO Max saying, hey, we're going to do it, you know, but, you know, always check the calendar for those things. But anyway, apparently it went like this, and this Abu Bakar guy, I guess, is the one who uh, sent him the congratulations and released the Snyder Cut, and then he apparently liked this one. So there you go. Uh, perhaps uh, a very big voice within Warner Media uh, is on board. Uh, maybe, just maybe, um, with this idea here, <laughs> that we might just get to see this film. Oh, you're thinking you saw it. No, no, you didn't. Does this version of Cyborg look familiar? No, it doesn't, because you didn't get to see that part. <laughs> so, anyway. So, um, yes, HBO Max has got a lot going on um, when it comes to DC, which only uh, stands to reason. And, uh, and it talks about Snyder Cut. I mean, uh, Snyder Cut. <laughs> Zack Snyder himself. His, his name is not Snyder Cut. Uh, we talked, he did his little, uh, you know, show where he watched, uh, Batman vs. Superman and, and talked about it and explained it and all that. And of course, tidbits about Snyder Cut would come forward, certainly, uh, the overall plan and whatnot. And, um, the rumor has always been that it could come out on HBO Max. So they they already have a Green Lantern series coming and Adam Strange, although the Adam Strange series, as I understand it, I thought that was going to be like an anthology series with, you know, Adam Strange being like the first. But I don't know. Maybe I read it wrong. But, you know, and an Aquaman animated series, which I hadn't heard until this. <laughs> but it, stand, it makes sense because of the popularity of the Aquaman film. And so maybe they'll, you know, do a series that's, you know, more in tune with that version of it. And, of course, J.J. Abrams is developing Justice League Dark. But we knew he was coming over, and there was the rumors that he was going to do a Green Lantern movie and Superman movie. Uh, but the only thing uh, definite is the Justice League Dark uh, version, which Guillermo del Toro worked on for quite some time, but it just never got off the ground. So now uh, J.J. and Bad Robot will be doing it. Well... <sighs> Maybe this time <laughs> it'll turn out okay. And yeah, the rumor of a Brandon Routh Superman series. Um, uh, that would be cool. Uh, based, I mean, the guy is very enthusiastic about these characters, and he left the Adam role, which he didn't sound too happy about. I think he would have loved to have stayed on in that. Uh, so he would be uh, certainly all on board, I think, with a Superman series. Uh, and he was the best part, uh, of the crisis, uh, crossover they recently did for the CW shows, even though that was really a disaster going, <laughs> the crossovers for CW are always bad. Uh, but, uh, he was good. Uh, but you know, what are you going to do? So, uh, yeah, if they wanted to do a Superman series of him, especially a kingdom come version of him and all that, and just go all out, that would be really cool. So who knows? Maybe, but it's only a rumor, so I'm not so sure about that one. These others, yeah, yeah, that's happening. So anyway, here's Killar himself. And uh and he's only forty eight, so uh yeah, so he's got some years. 
<laughs> so they you know, the announcement. No, he's a great guy, and he worked. Uh, he was part of Hulu apparently. Uh, he was the CEO of Hulu. Yeah, right. With his start in 2007 until 2013, he served in several leadership positions at Amazon, 97 to 2006. So, yeah, the guy knows his stuff. He's been around a while. So he's got experience there and all that. So, hopefully, he really is a Snyder Cut fan. <laughs> and it may actually be on board. And I suspect that we probably would have heard something more substantial by now, if not an outright, uh, you know, promo or what have you. But of course, we got a big roadblock with the, the outbreak. So things like this are all kind of, uh, up in the air. But I think, in, uh, eventually it would have been better for HBO Max to have it, you know, right there at the outset when it debuts. But, um, maybe they'll say, look, it's coming. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I forgot I was going to talk about this. Uh, Snyder had talked about, he, yeah, he has some CGI to finish, and he has some other scenes he wants to put into it because he wants it to be back to his original idea, which admittedly never got filmed. He did film, obviously, it didn't exist. You know, I, you know it, it, <laughs> uh, he shot one, they told him to reshoot it, and then, of course, he had to walk away. Uh, because of the personal tragedy and whatnot. And uh, so, but he's, I'm thinking, wants more of it as much as he can, because he's got to work with what he has, the principal photography he shot. But the Martian Manhunter scene, I think he wants in there. As far as the business of what happens to Lois Lane and Darkseid killing her and all that, I don't know that he could fit that in, or if it, that was even intended for that film. It sounds like something that would have happened in a, a follow-up uh, or something along those lines. So, uh, so a little bit of footage like that, uh, which would include Lois and, uh, I believe, uh, Martha Kent and turning into the Manhunter <laughs> and would reveal that General Swanwick was the Martian Manhunter all along and, uh, that sort of thing. And of course the CGI that needed to be finished, uh, cause some of those scenes did le uh, leak the, uh, Barry Allen saving his girlfriend and all that, uh, that would need to be finished. And, uh, and also he may, uh, be wanting to put Steppenwolf back in his original and rather beastal looking form that the concept art showed. And some of the leaked CGI, unfinished, you know, CGI there showed him in that form. So maybe that's something that would take a little bit more, I would think. And, um, but he can't work on that. Uh, maybe the CGI work could continue, but, as far as a footage to be shot, new scenes to be filmed, um, well, yeah, you can't do that now with the lockdown. So that's part of that. So that would be a stumbling block to getting it released on time with the debut of HBO Max. But more and more, uh, especially something like that, you know, it seems to point towards, yes, this is a real possibility. And I sure hope so, because... I want to see that damn cut. <laughs> so there you go. Hope springs eternal. Uh, we'll, we, of course, we'll have to see. That's all we can do. But anyway, this uh, looks pretty good. So yes, congratulations, Mr. Killar. <laughs> I hope that's how I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, yes, please, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you. Yes, t-shirts and mugs and hats and stickers and all that. And, of course, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and get yourself a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hurry over and do that. And, of course, you can catch my show, The Mr. Nelson Show, uh, well, podcast, over at RadioMisfits.com. And, of course, you can watch my videos over at BitChute.